Wearing the Jersey, brought to you by WVU Medicine. I think running is more of than just like a sport to me. It's more than just this hobby. It's kind of part of my life. It's a little bit part of my religion. For Morgantown native and Mountaineer sophomore Millie Palladino, running is sacred. It's unexplainable. You love to go out and put your body through this for some reason, and it's amazing. It's kind of amazing to see what you can do. So it's, it's something you learn to love to keep striving to be better. Millie is no stranger to success. She is a state champion, a Gatorade Cross Country Runner of the Year, and she holds the record for the fastest mile in West Virginia State High School history. So what makes her a great runner? Her attitude. It's an attitude. She's got an outlook on life that's, that's very rare. Um, she can take punches, she can keep coming back. Um, in the end, she's gonna outwork most of her competitors, if not all of them. And, you know, she's, she's got great ability, so at the very end of the day, she should, uh, she should excel. So joining a successful Mountaineer Cross Country program should have been a no-brainer, right? I didn't have it on the map before I loved running. It was kind of this, like, my sister went away to school. But then when I started looking at schools, it was kind of like my brain was still go far away, go find a life somewhere else. But my heart was kind of like, this is where you grew up. This is where you, you know, became the person you are. And, the, you know, this is a place that you hope to become the person you're meant to be. So that's kind of why I stayed. But staying home was further complicated when her twin brother, Andy, committed to running cross country at Syracuse. Millie had to make a difficult decision. You know, interesting, I did come down to Syracuse in West Virginia for Millie. Um, Andy, great runner out of University High also, he committed a little earlier than Millie had made her mind up, but uh, I think she went back and forth on it. Yes, oh my gosh, uh, that was the worst. It came down to Syracuse and WVU, and I, I mean, I chose here, but yeah, no, it was terrible. It's like your best friend, you're with them together for so long. I think one of the biggest things for Millie is that she wanted to make an impact and she wanted to make an impact in this state and inspire young girls and young guys in this state to, to, to stay and realize that we have a great university and, and she can do it here. A big thing is just like being proud of yourself, I mean Mountaineer pride, so it's being proud of yourself and what you're doing and like who you're representing. So that's a big thing. And another thing is just our community. West Virginia and Morgantown especially is just, there's just so many different views and people here and we're all kind of here for each other and we're all moving in one direction together. So it's great, you know, it's hard. It's a hard place to leave, which is why people stay here for their whole life and love it, so. Because when I look at someone like Millie, I expect in, 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 you know, in, a, in a good world that Millie can make it all the way to the national track and field finals. I think if she hits it right, she might make those Olympic trials. It's always just like keep pushing, see what you can do, see what you're capable of.